What it do, what it do fam, it's your boy D. And I'm coming back with another video. Those who new with me, please go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe, and press that post bell notification button for any further um, content that I, you know, will drop um, in the future. Now, this story today is sad. It's, you know, about a four-year-old um, child that's been missing for over a year and the family been, you know, searching for this baby, you know, looking through the dumpsters, you know, having, you know, police and everything, investigating it, you know, by looking through the dumpsters and everything. And the child was discovered in a duffel bag in an alley in West Philadelphia. And shout out West Philadelphia. We're going to watch this um, clip, and we'll come back, and we're going to talk about this. Tonight, there is a tragic update to a case of a missing child. Police now saying that a body found in a duffel bag in March is that of four-year-old Damari Carter. The young boy had been missing since December when family members say his mother claimed he'd been hit by a car. Action News reporter Brianna Smith talked with the child's family about today's new developments. She joins us now live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the full story. Brianna. Gray, Damari's family says now they have some closure since his body was found. The investigation began back in December after his family didn't see him for weeks. And they say his mother's story didn't add up and they just knew something was wrong. The way that they found him is appalling. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy for somebody to find him like that. And I I applaud that worker who found him. Ayanna Parrish and her family desperately waited for Philadelphia police to locate her cousin, four-year-old Damari Carter. Detectives began the search on December 30th by looking through dumpsters after interviewing his mother. Then in March, a city worker found the remains of a child in a duffel bag in Mantua. On Wednesday, police confirmed it's Damari. I'm Glad they have found him because now he can get the proper rest that he needs. Now Damari's mother, Dominique Bailey, and her boyfriend, Kevin Spencer, face several charges, including murder and abuse of corpse. The affidavit states in December, Bailey watched Spencer beat Damari until his head was swollen and his eyes were blackened and realized Damari was dead when she kissed him goodnight. Police say the next day, doorbell video shows Spencer dragging a bag, which they believe contains Damari's body. I was heartbroken when I saw the report. I lived with her for years. She, me and her shared a room together. I never expected anything like that to come from her. Parrish says Damari could have lived with his father in Texas. His father wanted him. Why wouldn't you just, if it was overwhelming, just give him to his father? He had everything that Damari needed. Hoping Damari gets the justice he deserves and the world remembers him as. A smiling, happy little boy. And his family is still waiting for his remains to give him the proper funeral. Now, Spencer and Bailey's preliminary hearing is scheduled for June 18th. We reached out to both lawyers. Only Bailey's responded by saying his client maintains her innocence. Live outside police headquarters, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray? Yeah, some closure, but still a heartbreaking story. Brianna, thanks for that update. Well, tonight there is... There you have it. Okay. The four-year-old Damari Carter found in a duffel bag. And, you know, the cousin and I, and I feel bad for this family, praying for the strength of this family. They've gotten closure, but this was heartbreaking because of the simple fact that the depth of this baby right here, Damari Carter, four years old, suffered, you know, an abuse of death, being abused by the mother's boyfriend and the mother watched and allowed this to happen 
And you see this a lot lately. And, and it's sad. You let these men come up in here. And um, abuse your children. And the mother, Dominique Bailey, watched her boyfriend abuse the son until he beat him black and blue. Kevin, Spent, this, Kevin Spencer. This is a poor... excuse for a man sorry I usually just don't go in like this but for a man to beat on a child to the point where you kill the child and then you get caught on the ring camera saying you putting the child out and you know dragging the child out in, 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 in this duffel bag you put the child in a duffel bag like it, like he was nothing. A four-year-old baby. And the mother. I don't just, I don't understand. Why do the, you know. The cousin was saying. She didn't see the mother doing this. But the mother's just as bad because she was there. And she watched this man. Beat on her child. And kill him. And then drag him out. And put him in some. Out there. You know. And they found him later in the alley. In a duffel bag. The real father. According to the cousin. Wanted the child. Now all the mother had to do. Was give. The, the, the child to the father. The real father. But sometimes these mothers don't want to do that. Because of the fact that, oh, it's going to hurt their dignity. Or they going to, you know, get off scot free Maybe she might have been getting child support. I don't know. But if she couldn't take care of the baby, she could have gave him to the father. The father wanted the child. Some of these women got to get off this pride. If they can't handle having the child and the daddy wants the child, let the father raise the son into a man this child you done wiped away his future he could have been you know we don't know you know what he could have been you know in the future he could have been the next doctor lawyer preacher teacher whatever you know but then you cut this child's life off it's a sad shame this has to happen but it happens too often. We keep praying for the family. You know. Praying for their strength. And I pray the Lord deal with. The mother. And this. And I'm going to be nice. This. Dude. May Damari Carter rest in peace. This baby should still be here. It's heartbreaking. But it happens too often. So let's keep praying for the family. And I'm praying for those, <clears throat> I mean, for the mother and that dude. I'm praying for them as well. Because still, God can deal with them. Even though this heinous crime ha have to happen. They're being charged. They, you know, yeah, they should be. They should be. But I'm praying while they're in prison. And that they get the sentence that they properly deserve. That the Lord will deal with them. In a big way. You got to realize. They, they, they are still lost souls too. Their, their souls. Their lost souls. With that being said. 
It's your boy D. Just let you know I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. God loves you, number one. Definitely ain't nothing you can do about that. And let God do it. Let God handle every situation. It's above and beyond your control. Cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, when we meet again, peace.